exactly what scene you're talking and about. And the mom is just talking. She's telling yep. a story about how um, she like, saw how she saw the little demon looking guy, yeah. how she saw him in the boy's bedroom when yep. he was a kid. So she's just telling the story or whatever like that. And then um, she's like, yeah, and then this happened. And she looks at her son and like the demon is behind him. And she's like, ah! Yeah. It's like and crying next to the in your face too. Like right Yeah, and they're like, Wait, what? Is there something behind me? Like what? I like yeah. it. they don't know and it just it got me too. Yeah, like, the yeah. way that they and then the music gets all like it's just like But pop. it doesn't but the music doesn't start until we Yeah, see, it's that that part until was, we see the actual That part scare. made me jump. Yeah, that part so made I don't me like jump. That. Mm-hmm. I don't like the cheesy music leading up to nothing. Yeah. I would rather it come at at a complete nowhere, nowhere. exactly you know i mean kind of like and i and i always go to this movie because i like this movie but that same movie insidious when the, the woman is in the bedroom mm-hmm. and she's hearing someone on her porch so she looks out and she sees a shadow walking by back and forth back and forth on her porch and she's just like what the hell now anybody that's gonna freak them out right yeah like i know i'm confident somebody's on my porch uh-huh. but you know you keep an eye on them because you're on a porch and you don't want them to try to come through the window and he's just going back and forth on the porch and all of a sudden he's in the bedroom, in the bedroom. i was like Yo. yeah, that's, yeah like those are the type of scares that i appreciate because it's different it's, it's different not they have a new expect. take on yeah a new uh-huh. take on like freaking people i like that yeah. And if we're, if you're in the bathroom, I, I fully expect somebody that to be in a mirror, weird. and it's like really corny at this point. Um, <laughs> Danny said Insidious was terrifying, and she didn't sleep for days. <laughs> the Insidious movies were good. Those and then, movies were good. And then Rob says the worst thing in movies is when somebody says, "Let's split up so we can cover more ground." I hate that too. It's always like, "Oh yeah, let's just all be by ourselves so we can get killed easier." Yeah, it's nice. so dumb. <laughs> and that's another thing. If you're in a scary situation with a group of friends in real life. Nobody's gonna be down for Heck splitting no. up. Heck Nobody's no. Nobody's gonna be down for splitting up. I mean, it, it, they did it in um, Scary Movie three, I think it was. It was either two or three, and they were, they were like, "Yeah, let's all split up." And then like oh. the black girl was like, "No, I'm sick of you white people. Every single time <laughs> we're in one of these situations, y'all all want to split up." And they was like, "Oh, okay." She was like, "So we'll all stay together, and then you two stay here by yourselves, and they let the black people down." <laughs> I don't watch, you know me, I don't watch scary movies. I didn't know that, but uh, I was like, yo, that was so wrong, but dang. That's horrible. Yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't. That's always the dumbest decision to make, (laughs) and they do it all the time in movies. Mm -hmm. It does, but, you know, like I said, we need to expect better, um, well, we don't need to expect better. We need to ask for better. For a better, yeah. Um, they need to do better. <laughs> I'm sick of damsels in distress. And this is something I think we'll never be rid of. No, I don't with. think so. I am a woman. So as a woman, I like the rare occasions when I go to a movie or I'm watching a show and they have like a, a female lead or yes. whatever and she's just kick ass. She does not Anna. need to be rescued. <laughs> well, she was a killer. That's different. I love I her. mean, someone who's a good guy who's, but she, oh. she can hold her own. She, like, she can take care of herself. Make, and she doesn't do stupid things yeah. that will cause her to need to be rescued. And Rob mentioned it earlier with the girl in Batman versus Superman. Uh-huh. She was always doing things that would need that would cause her to need to be to rescued. To need to be rescued, yeah. You are a regular, sh- puny, tiny human being. Superman is literally an alien with super strength. Like, you can't hang with him. You yeah. know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Stop putting yourself in a situation that's going to cause him to have to... to go rescue you. And, like, you need and him. And be distracted. Exactly. Like, he literally had to leave the fight with big doomsday and like leave batman who was hiding and wonder woman to fend for themselves to try to go rescue her because she was doing something she was like drowning somewhere doing something stupid yeah i'm like why did you put yourself in this situation and like literally she was way far away from the fight and then she gets a cab and he's like where do you want to go and she was like there where the aliens are fighting and the big monsters so i can go and get myself into danger more danger right and put my boyfriend at risk which is exactly what he did and he ended up freaking dying so it was really annoying spoiler alert sorry but <laughs> it, it was just is really really annoying and i hate women like this in movies yeah and that's, that's another every- pet peeve of mine where they always make women so helpless in movies a lot where they always mm-hmm. need to be like rescued or they always just make them do dumb dumb decisions can, can it like, just once be like the woman rescuing her dude the like, guy can it just right? once happen just seriously once. just once <laughs> so it gets it gets really frustrating so the rare occasions when you have characters who don't need saving i really appreciate it which is why i love michonne from the walking dead so much because her and her katana man they're forced to be reckoned with she does not need to be rescued mm-hmm. you know what i mean like she they can got hold it. their own right she can hold her own but 
I would say let's da uh, retire the damsels in distress, but it's never gonna happen. Yeah. It's, especially in superhero movies. It's especially in, yeah. It's never gonna happen. Yeah. Um, and then one time I actually got the girl, like, uh, spoiler alert, The Amazing Spider-Man 2. Mm -hmm. uh, the girl did, was doing dumb things and putting herself in danger and she actually died. He was unable to save her. He came this close and he was unable to save her. And it's like they are, they're already thinking, well, I'm dating a superhero. I can do whatever I want. And he's yeah. going to rescue you me. You suck and you suck as a girlfriend. All right. I'm yeah. done. I'm done with the rants. <laughs> if you are constantly putting your boyfriend in more danger than he already is in, then you suck. And that's yeah. just all I have to say about that. Um, and then we have things that, you know, the, it always it's always running at funerals mm -hmm. people who don't say goodbye people in the movies don't say goodbye before they hang up the phone yeah. that's so unrealistic yeah i don't think that was rude i'll call back like you just hang up without saying goodbye because that's rude right and never have i heard a conversation and where movie. someone just it's just like an unspoken okay we know we're both gonna hang up click like that, <laughs> that that doesn't happen in real life you have to say you say bye to the other person before you <laughs> so hang it up on them unnatural. you know it's so unnatural that makes no sense <laughs> <laughs> but um that's just it's something so small but it's just like it's annoying like, that's, come on no, now. It's true. It's true. and then something that the trip and fall in horror movies you know it's it, it still happens and I'm, I don't understand people don't trip and fall that much especially when they're being chased and it's not even when like their life depends on it it's not like, even like they fall and then get back up they always fall and then turn around and look at the killer and then scream as it comes as it gets yeah closer. and they don't even try to get up and then the person running in front of them has to like risk their life yeah, to go back yeah. and help them up like, and then they, Stacey, run away. they have to run back and like pick her up like no leave stacy she's done now yeah because she wants to be an idiot and just lay there instead of getting her ass up and, and finish running yeah <laughs> i hate that it's so it's so or like what we talked about well we even we mentioned this earlier too it was mentioned in the screen movies too where it's like so annoying when they always have it in a horror movie where you know there's a killer inside your house who's chasing you and mm. instead of running out the front door into like public where there's other people you run upstairs <laughs> in your house to be like more like you, trapped like yeah. that makes no sense well you just want to die at that point yeah like it just like, makes no sense like go out your this front point. door like it's, leave your house yeah. run out into the street like it's just a sh it's just for show that I'm running at this point because if you run upstairs and people i'm not saying people won't do dumb things when they're more of a panic yeah but that to run past the front door to go upstairs, upstairs it just that's makes... just like on another level and this this other thing um i see it more on tv than i do in movies but it still just bothers me and it's just like really the stupid misunderstandings during conversations that two characters are having and that's like when one person thinks that they're talking one person will go go up to a character and be like i really have to talk to you and the other character will be like oh i already know and they'll be like oh you know how do you know and they start having a conversation but they're not explicitly saying what it is that they're talking about so they're both talking about two different things and it's like such an easily explainable like i know you cheated on stacy because i saw you but they're really talking about something completely, completely different. differently like, like they're on a completely different conversation yeah <laughs> and it happens like on shows like friends and how much mother and things like that all the time i'm like this is so annoying or someone go i go up to you and like i need to have to tell you something really 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 important and they'd be like oh my god what is it and then, and then my, my phone rings yeah like, oh hold on hold on <laughs> yeah yeah like your phone rings or like there's a, a knock at the door and you have to answer the door and you come back like oh that's right what was it that you needed to tell me and i'm like never mind and you're just like okay you just everybody just goes on about yeah. no that doesn't happen that doesn't happen yeah right. if you can if i came to you said something real i need to tell you something really important and yeah, i'm just like that shit never mind you know, but like if it's really important like you need to tell me yeah. like, you're gonna push a little bit more exactly and it just pisses me off to no end and they still do it all the time and then like the, the little corny like will they or won't they get together things that they do on tv we know they're going to get together they with ross, ross and rachel jim and pam they do it so much on tv on these shows it's corny at this point we know they're going to get together <laughs> they always do so it just it just irritates me yeah but we fall for it every time yeah no that's true yeah <laughs> But they do need to change some of these cliches. They need to get more um, creative with the ways that they go about certain scenes and the typical things that they do in movies. Um, Teresa says that her mother hangs up on her every day and it drives her crazy. She never says goodbye. So I guess there is people who do it. <laughs> I don't know anybody who does it. I but... don't either. But I mean, yeah, I don't, I don't either. 
<laughs> I'm sorry that she does that. that I'm sorry crazy too. too. Like, don't just. I'd be like, mom, it. stop hanging out on me. <laughs> no, no, I take that back. My mom's hung up on me before <laughs> too, but I think it was because I pissed her off. Oh, it's just. Angry and moving, and then hanging up. Then I would understand, but they'll really, literally, just be having a regular conversation. Yeah, no. And then they'll just end it. And I'm just like, that's not how that works. But <laughs> oh my god! And then, anyway. and then Ross said that uh, Anissa, they hide in the closet, which is the worst place. Uh, yeah, they do that. Where they, when they run upstairs, like in the house, they go and hide one in the closet or two under the bed, which are like the two main under places. Under the bed is even worse. Someone's than the closet, gonna, I think. someone's gonna find you. Like that's so dumb. That's and the then we see the look. the camera point of view, and they're like looking through the little. Uh, the little slits in the closet and then, yeah. and then the, the killer's pretending like he doesn't know they're in the closet exactly. so he's like if they're trying to build the tension and the killer's just like looking around I'm like you know she's in the closet stop it exactly <laughs> or they'll pretend right. like they leave the room and they're oh, really yeah. still in there and then they, they come out the closet up. and they're like ah <laughs> <laughs> it's really stupid but um even for monsters who are trying to hide from parents. <laughs> for the monsters to hide under the bed or in the closet. Come on, monster. That's a really typical place to hide. Yeah, right? Try to get a little bit more creative about yeah. where, where, you, where you're hiding now. It's really... Like, nice. hide in the bathroom or something. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I don't know where else a monster could possibly hide. I don't hide, either, but... But, so I mean, good. there was... I can't remember the movie, but I remember watching it, and she... You know how you hide under the covers? Yeah. She hid under the covers, and the monster did, too. <laughs> Wait, what was that? I can't remember. It was something a few years ago, but I remember I died laughing. That is hilarious. Because you never, you think you're safe for some reason yeah. under the covers. And she got, she was like hearing stuff and she saw something in the corner, so she hid under the covers. I always thought it was so silly too, though, that like <laughs> as a kid, right you there. think that just because you're under the covers, you're going to yeah. be safe, even though you're still completely exposed. She, to yeah, she had a rude awakening because she went on those covers and she was thinking, and Marcia was like, hey! And she was like, oh! <laughs> <laughs> Like, I'm here, too. I'm hiding from the same monster you are. That's we, so We're chilling. No, but um, <laughs> that was really silly. I'm sorry, guys. But thank you so much for tuning in. And we are now at the end of our show. Guys, we only have three more episodes left Dang. after this. I'm going to miss you guys so much. Oh, this is going to be sad. <laughs> what am I going to do with my Wednesday nights? <laughs> I know. They should feel so empty. But three episodes left. And uh, we want to make them good for you. So we will be back next Wednesday. Same time, 8 p.m. Um, you can follow me on Twitter, Demarie Love 19 that's L-U-V. Instagram, Demarie Love. Facebook, Demarie Love. Anissa, where can they find you? Anissa underscore forever. Um, Instagram and Snapchat. Awesome. So thank you guys so much for tuning in tonight. It's been a lot of fun, as usual. I know I get really ranty. I know I get really, <laughs> we both can. <laughs> I, I get really annoyed about really stupid things that don't matter, but that's just me. <laughs> you guys know this by this point that I get ranty. <laughs> oh, and you also can subscribe to my YouTube channel, Keep It Scripted. I do reviews and reactions and um, discussions, uh, more detailed discussions and things like that on there. So check me out. Um, thank you so much for tuning in, guys. Thank come you, back, guys. Come back next Wednesday We'll see night. you, we'll or here. we'll talk to you guys next Wednesday. Yeah, I got something planned. I got more things planned um, for next Wednesday, and we're kind of going back into um, what we've done before with theories and creepy things. Yeah. And those are always the most those fun shows fun. for me, so. Yes. Yeah, make sure you stay tuned, guys. Love you guys. Thank you so much. Bye. For Good night. Bye.